Mr. Page. Mr. DeRocher, on Article 45. Yeah, Dick DeRocher, 40 Salt Meadow. With all the trash talk, I kind of forgot what I'm going to talk about. The, at the present time, the New Hampshire Senate is discussing Senate Bill 307, which deals with New Hampshire's position on Citizens United. If the town votes yes on this item, the town will be saying to the state legislature, who will in turn make the same statement to the federal government, that we in New Hampshire, and in Hampton in particular, believe that we should be free to vote any way we wish to vote. We will be saying that we are opposed to outside interests, both from the left and from the right, coming in to our state and our town and telling us how to vote by putting all their money into influencing our voters. I therefore request that all the voters in the town of Hampton vote yes on Article 45. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeRocher. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 45? Ms. Kwan? I'd like to speak in favor of keeping Citizen United out of this state and money from donations from billionaires who try to influence each state in this union with mega billion outside advertisement, which some of this has already been out there at, for the latest election. I think because of these donations where people do not know the source of, the, of this uh, advertising is not good for our state or any other. It causes people who are running for office to have to raise way much more money than they would have if it was simply a state local election. And I believe that money should be less influential in deciding who we want as our representatives in this state and not these big, we don't want to be influenced by outsiders. Well, this law should be done away with in the whole nation. And New Hampshire is known as being first in the nation. It should be first in helping this legislation be improved and no more uh, donations that, from people we don't know who it is, where it's coming from. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kwan. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Mr. Rice? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. The Hampton deliberative session should be involved with subjects that pertain to governing the town of Hampton. The governance of the town of Hampton is nonpartisan. It's not bipartisan, it's nonpartisan and should remain there. We should not be taking any positions in this body right here that have to do with what is obviously uh, a partisan issue. Everything you can say on the side of corporations, you can say on the side of unions on the other side, we don't need any of that discussion at the local level here in Hampton. This should be voted down. We shouldn't even have it on the, on the warrant. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Seeing um, no one first, you all set? Okay, this is an advisory article, so I'm going to have Ms. Quant speak, and then we're going to move on to um, Article 46. Go ahead. Marcella Quant for Quinlan Lane. I consider this a nonpartisan issue, and I do consider that it is this town's uh, business to state what we feel as a town should go forward to be considered by the state. I do not think it's an improper thing for our town to give our opinion on something that's happening in the state. 
I don't see anything wrong with that. I think it benefits our town as well as the state. And I do believe that there are packs that are hidden on both sides or any side. I don't believe it's a partisan issue. That's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Kwan. All right. Article 45 will go on to the ballot as printed. Article 45.